What is going on guys, MJ2005 Gundam here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the 30 minute mission White Alto. So, this thing is, I think, a Sheedan cross with a Genoist, but then there are four color variants of this out right now, I think. I think there is a red one and there's a the blue one, and also, there there's a blue one and a yellow one, definitely, but I don't, do not know if there's a red one. There's a green one coming out, which is going to be like an army green. So you guys can look forward to that, but I bought the white just in case any plans pop up and come into mind. But anyways, this thing I've built in 19 minutes, and yeah, it's pretty good looking if I may say so myself. It has a simple build, because you only sandwich two parts and click them into the joints. And just it's just mostly that kind of construction, and I have to say, apart from this little mobile worker spider drone in the back, which you can absolutely leave off, I do like how this thing looks, and also I like that it has a cr clear green visor and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, just in general, this thing does look pretty good. Seam lines, they are almost absent. The ones that I could not forgive are the arms over here. The legs, uh, they're kind of fine, but yeah, they, they hit it pretty well, but the arms... They could use a little bit of cleanup work, but that's just me. They would have cut down the build quality in order to cut down the build time, so that can be forgiven. And also, the details on here, especially on the white, I would recommend you to panel line all of the details over here. Just because the white does look a little bit plain. I don't know about the other colors because I'm not interested in getting them, but yeah. A little bit of panel lining would benefit this kit. Now stickers, you only have the numbers that you can paste on anywhere on the body. So that's basically it. The white and blue, the white and light blue does look pretty good. But I'm not sure about the other colors. I'll have to see them in person. But so far, this thing does look pretty good. Articulation wise, it doesn't use poly caps except for the ball joints. So you have a plastic neck joint and a ball joint. You have a ball joint at the arms that you can swivel out. You can rotate. The shoulder armor is separate so you can s slide it up like so. And then the arms they can go out like this. And then they can rotate above the elbow. It's kind of tight on mine. I do not know if that is just me. Or is it that the case in other kits? I'm not sure. And then you have a single joint at the elbow which gives you more than a 90, kind of similar to the IBO kits. And then the waist over here, it does have a ball joint in the torso, but this is, this has the same problem as the Zeta Gundam. Because if you just pop it out too far, it would pop off. But the main problem is that the ball joint doesn't really fully go into the socket as you guys can see here in the gap. I do not know if it's just the ball joint itself or the socket being too shallow. So yeah, you guys need to be aware of that. But that does allow for a little bit of tilting motion over here. And also a peg at the waist, so a little bit of rotation. That's coming off again. No skirt motion except for the side skirts which move. And then the back skirt, you of course can remove the drone, I'll show this off later. And then the legs, they do have a little bit of a unique mechanic. They can have a little pivot inside like they can go out individually so yeah you can put this guy in all sorts of weird poses give it a taller height if you so choose and then the legs they can go forwards go backwards go outwards all the way in every direction only because this guy doesn't have any back skirts rotation at the thigh a double jointed knee this armor piece does shift so let's replay that which is pretty good for such a simple construction. And then you have this ankle guard over here. This has fell off on me a couple of times. So I would recommend you guys to keep an eye on that. If it's loose, apply a little bit of glue into it. And then the feet, they can rotate at the ball joint at the bottom. And then they have an ankle rocker. And that's basically it. So articulation on this simple kit is very, very good. Like I have to say... For a simple construction like this, it does have an immense amount of articulation. Accessories, here's the spider drone. It looks kind of like a mobile worker at the top and then it has a spider claws in the bottom which does have a hard point and another hard point 
and a peg that you can peg it into the arse it does have a rotating kind of top and that's basically it and then you have this gun right here my brother said it's an SMG but I'm more inclined to believing that it is a rifle but I think it's up to the imagination of the user so you basically slide it into the hand this does work on both hands so yeah you do not need to worry about the guard getting in the way last but not least you do have the handle over here this handle is made to work with the uh, 30 mm mission option set 1 so that you can plug a blade into there I tried plugging in beams but they do not work like they are very very loose in there but after all this thing is not made for the beam saber treatment so you guys can give it to the alto just for a knuckle duster because there is kind of a blade right here then I'm more inclined to uh, believing that this is a rapier without its blade and unfortunately I cannot find the option set 1 anywhere now so I might have to wait I have to seriously wait until I can fully utilize this piece so that's gonna be it for the accessories of the Alto. Comparison wise, I'm gonna bring in the regular Gundam. So the regular Gundam is slightly taller, I believe, slightly taller than the uh, than the Alto. It's just a tad bit taller. So that's gonna be it for the Alto review. I definitely think that this guy is a fun kit to build because. Well, it's a simple build, easily one of the most beginner friendly kits that you could get out there. And yeah, it does have a little bit of vibes that can trick me into thinking that this thing is from a Gundam universe. And this thing, being at its size and the mechanics itself and also the surface detailing, it does pretty much easily fit in with your Gundam collection so if you're buying this as a standard kit go ahead but I'm sure most of you would utilize all the hard points and also all the weapon sets that, that the Alto is released alongside with to customize this guy to a fuller extent at the end of the day this thing is a very very good kit and a simplistic build if you're starting out on modeling I would definitely recommend tenfold that you guys pick up this thing or if you are a veteran and you want to play around with the customization go ahead pick up this guy also if you are one of the ups and if you're one of the more but anyways that's it for me this is definitely what I would recommend so yep solid kit and that's it for me so thank you all so much for watching this video if you did like it please be sure to drop a like comment and also subscribe for more Gunplay reviews, gunplay news, and all that kind of stuff. Subscribe to the featured channels on my channel page if you haven't, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye.